Welcome to this edition of Headlines Nigeria. This is ITI, Internet Television International Studios here in Abuja. I am Grace Ukot with summaries of news, politics, business and sports from our Nigerian dailies. We'll move over to the first paper for the day. Next newspaper, Group Sets Agenda for JEGA. Foremost Democracy Monitoring Group, the Transition Monitoring Group, has asked the new chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Atahiru Jega, to flush out all officers of the commission who worked with his predecessor, Maurice Iwu, in order to ensure credible elections are held next year. NCC gets ultimatum to improve quality of service. In an effort to ensure that Nigerian telecommunications consumers get value for the money spent for services, the federal government has directed the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, to develop an action plan for improving quality of service before July 9, 2010. Dora Akunyili, Minister of Information and Communications, gave this directive last week in Abuja during an interactive session with investors in the communications sector. Punch newspaper, reinstated Bauchi Deputy Governor resumes duty amidst tight security. The reinstated Bauchi State Deputy Governor, Alhaji Garba Gadi, resumed duty on Monday. Gadi entered his former office at 7 a.m. and missed sight security by the State Police Command. The Deputy Governor was last Friday reinstated by Justice Haruna Samani of a Bauchi State High Court. The Nation newspaper, court declines to stop Ibori's arrest. Former Delta State Governor James Ibori on Monday at the Federal High Court at Saba failed to stop the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission from arresting him. Justice Ibrahim Buba held that it is premature for Ibori to bring up the case. Court directs community to pick another monarch. Another Ondo state traditional ruler has lost his throne. An Okitipupa High Court on Monday dethroned the Olofum of Odei Reli, or by Claudius Olariwa Julebi, after 15 years on the stool. His deposition followed that of the Deji of Akure, Oba Oluwadari Adeshino Adepoju, who allegedly beat up his wife. He is contesting the deposition in court. Amnesty. Training ex-militants will boost economy. Special Advisor to President Goodluck Jonathan on Niger Delta Affairs, Mr. Timi Alaibe, at the weekend said the post-amnesty training for ex-militants, which kicks off today in Obubra, Cross River State, will jumpstart the determination of the administration to develop the Niger Delta region, as well as other parts of the country. Nigerian Tribune, Bankole calls for free fair elections in 2011. The Speaker, House of Representatives, Honorable Dimeji Bankole, has urged Nigerians to work towards achieving free and fair elections in 2011. He said that with the appointment of the new Independent National Electoral Commission chairman, such a credible election will signpost a deepening democratic experience and increase the citizens' confidence in the electoral process. NIPPs, federal government threatens to sack contractors. The federal government on Monday in Abuja threatened to sack any contractor found wanting in the execution of national integrated power projects. Vice President Namadi Sambo gave the warning while presiding over a meeting between contractors handling the projects and government officials. This day newspaper. House wants 17.9 million euros aviation contracts suspended. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Procurement yesterday asked that the automation of the Aeronautical Information Service project in some airports be stopped pending the outcome of investigations into allegations that the contract did not follow due process. And now moving over to politics, Punch newspaper. PPA orders Abia governors to settle workers' salaries. The leadership of the Progressive People's Alliance on Monday read the Riot Act to Abia State Governor Theodore Oji, asking him to meet seven conditions before the end of August this year. The party's leadership said the seven conditions were spelled out after a meeting of its National Working Committee, which reviewed its recent invitation to the governor and other members of the party. NLC, AC, fault London Summit on Nigeria at 50. 
The Nigeria Labour Congress and the Action Congress have criticized the two-day conference organized in London by the federal government to mark the country's 50th independence anniversary. Mr. Abdul Wahid Omar described the summit, which started on Monday, as a national disgrace and a frivolity. Omar said that the London summit was more unacceptable and unnecessary than 10 billion naira set aside for the independence anniversary. 2011, Jonathan can contest Okonkwo. The presiding bishop of the redeemed evangelical mission, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, has said that it is proper for President Goodluck Jonathan to contest the 2011 presidential election. He also said that there was no constitutional limitation stopping him from contesting. Okonkwo added that the zoning arrangement of the People's Democratic Party was not static and should not be used to stop Jonathan. The nation, I will make Ogun a model. Action Congress governorship aspirant in Ogun State, Mr. Temi Tokpe Kuyebi, has vowed to quicken developments in the state should he emerge governor in the 2011 polls. Nigerian Tribune, 2011 election, Nigeria, Canada, sign pact. The federal government of Nigeria and the government of Canada have signed a strategic pact aimed at ensuring a free and fair election in 2011. It was gathered that the Canadian government had assured Nigeria of alliance in a bid to ensure that the Independent National Electoral Commission conducted a free and fair election in 2011. Anambra AC chairman shot by kidnappers. The chairman of Action Congress in Anambra State, Chief Ndubi Sinwobu, is now on danger list in an undisclosed hospital in Oka, the state capital, after he was shot by kidnappers who abducted him on Sunday night. The incident, which has heightened tension among the political class in the state, was said to have occurred at about 8 p.m. at Ifite, a suburb of the town. And now moving over to business news, Nigerian Tribune. Nigerian banks extremely risky, World Rating Agency. A renowned World Rating Agency, Standard & Poor, has said the banks in the country continue to look weak despite the bailout of some banks by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Punch newspaper. I'll make Nigeria attractive to foreign investors, Jonathan. President Goodluck Jonathan on Monday said his administration would implement policies that would make Nigeria an attractive destination for foreign investors. The president spoke at separate meetings with the outgoing ambassadors of China and the Netherlands in the state house. Federal government to check influx of substandard Chinese goods. The federal government has concluded arrangements to check the influx of substandard goods from China. The Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Mrs. Josephine Tapgon, has said. She said that President Goodluck Jonathan had approved the signing of a memorandum of understanding with the Chinese government on the issue. The Nation newspaper, CBN extends unity, Wema recapitalization deadline to September. The Central Bank of Nigeria on Monday extended Wednesday's deadline for Unity Bank and Wema Bank to recapitalize or face liquidation by three months. The Apex Bank predicated the action on the unanticipated three-month extension in timeline for setting up the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria. And now, Sports News, Punch newspaper, Onigbe Inde wants new Super Eagles. A former Nigeria coach, Adeboye Onigbe Inde, has said that the Super Eagles must be rebuilt to make an impact at future tournaments. Nigeria failed to progress in the next round of the ongoing World Cup in South Africa after a poor run in the group games. Onigbe Inde said that the team failed because football development was not taken seriously in the country. We'll win World Cup for Africa, Ghana. The Black Stars have said they will give everything to win the South Africa 2010 World Cup for Africa. No African team has progressed beyond the quarterfinals of the World Cup since it was first staged in Uruguay in 1930. Nigerian Tribune, Ayama set to seal West Ham deal. West Ham target Vincent Ayama expects his future to be decided this week. The Nigerian and Harpwell Tel Aviv goalkeeper has been linked with a move to Upton Park with New Hammer's boss, Avram Grant, a known admirer of the stopper. And with this, we've come to the end of this edition of Headlines Nigeria on ITI. Thanks for logging on.